Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Steve coming to you live with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how I ship out my clothes and the supplies that I use to do it. In front of you are a few different clothes that I recently sold on eBay. I've got a Pendleton that sold for $36, a Brooks Brothers long sleeve dress shirt that sold for $17, and a Bugatti Uomo nice shirt, um, a dress shirt as well that sold for $20. All right, guys, so you sell some shirts, and now you want to ship them out, and you want to do it in a professional manner that's going to, you know, get customers wanting to come back to your store and buy more. So, all right, guys, what you're going to need are some cheap kitchen bags that you can get for like a dollar for like 40 of them, um, a pair of scissors, some tape, some thank you cards, and some poly mailers and flat rate envelopes. All right, guys, when it comes to shipping, you want to do it the cheapest way possible because, you know, as you know, it costs money to get these shirts to sell. There's fees on eBay and, you know, the shipping costs. So, you know, if you sell something for 20, 25 bucks, you know, there's a lot of profit that's getting taken away from the different, you know, costs of doing business. So, you know, you want to ship as cheap as possible. And the best way that I found to ship is based on weight. Now, you know, if you guys don't have a postal scale, you'll get to learn, you know, based on experience. But shirts like golf shirts and, you know, polo shirts and, you know, lighter t-shirts and whatnot are usually less than 13 ounces. So if you have uh, a piece of clothing that's less than 13 ounces, you could ship it first class mail. And uh, the way I, I ship first class mail, like for instance, this is a, uh, a Nike golf shirt. Um, I wrapped it up in the kitchen bag, put a uh, thank you note on it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it into one of these poly mailers. You can get these off eBay for like 20 bucks for like 500. And uh, it only costs three or four bucks to ship it first class. So that's a pretty good deal. Now, if you guys have like a thicker material shirt, like a Pendleton that's made out of, uh, you know, wool or you're shipping out jeans or sweatshirts, the best way I found to ship it the cheapest way is to use a flat rate mailing envelope. Now there's two choices that you could use. There's a smaller one and then there's a bigger one. Um, there's only a 50 cent difference in price about, it's, uh, I believe it's about $4.90 for the smaller one and about $5.20 for the bigger one. Um, so that's the best way to do it. If you got, if you got something that weighs more than 13 ounces, use the flat rate mailing envelope because if you guys use priority or you just put it um, like US parcel going to cost like seven or eight bucks maybe like six or seven depends where you're shipping it that's also important if you're if you're if you're not using flat rate um you know the farther it goes the more it's going to cost so at any rate poly mailers and flat rate envelopes the best way to uh ship the cheapest way all right guys so um like i showed you the kitchen bag wrap up the shirt fold it up very nice um tape the back ends so we're going to need to tape for it. Tape the back end so it looks nice and professional. Put a thank you note on it and uh, just choose the appropriate bag or mailing envelope to put it in. So I hope this helped folks and, uh, you know, start selling some clothes and making some money. Thanks for tuning in. Take care.